Hi again everyone. In this video we're going to continue our introduction to complex numbers and in particular we're going to sketch a region in the complex plane. Now let's motivate our study. Why are complex numbers important? Well, complex numbers they're basically an extension of the real numbers that you saw at school. And as I've mentioned in previous videos, complex numbers, although quite abstract, they find useful applications in many, many places in science, engineering and technology. So here, here I've listed a few. And basically a good understanding of how to work with complex numbers, in this case how to sketch regions, well, this knowledge then gives us the power to solve more interesting, challenging and important problems. So today's video is very basic and we're going to look at this particular example. Sketch the region in the complex plane defined by all those complex numbers Z that satisfy the following inequalities. Okay, well, I'm going to discuss the general case first and then we're going to solve this particular problem. So suppose Z naught's a complex number, A is a positive real number, and alpha and beta, I guess I really should have a less than or equal, uh, less than here, and alpha and beta are real numbers that are between minus pi and pi. Well, this will represent a wedge in the complex plane. Now, I'm using the term wedge very, very loosely there. Let me, uh, let me give you an, uh, a picture of, uh, and you'll, you'll see what I mean. So here are our axes. All right, so first of all, we move to Z0, say it's here, and we draw a circle around Z0 with radius A. Okay. All right. So what we would like to do is include all those complex numbers that surround the point Z0 within this radius and ha let, let's bring this um, condition into play. Well, draw a, or well, consider a horizontal line that's parallel to the real axis. We want to rotate, I guess, between the angle alpha and beta. So I'm just going to assume that alpha is negative in this case and beta is positive. So our region is somewhere in here. Now we have to be a bit careful because here I've got a strictly less than. So actually I'm going to put some dotted lines in there and the other places we have less than or equals to. So we can actually include those edges. So here is our general region of interest. So we don't include this edge here and you can see I've put in some dot, uh, dotted line there. Okay well our problem is similar but you, you see I've got a strictly less than here so I would change this edge to a dashed edge because I don't include that edge. So let's have a look at C and see what we can do here. Now just before we do that you can see, well, if alpha is minus pi and beta is positive pi, well, this will extend all the way around there and beta will extend all around there. So we'll actually get a disk. So you can see how I'm using the word wedge quite liberally there. So for our problem, Z0 equals 2i. A equals 1, alpha equals 0, and beta equals 3 pi on 4. So let's construct our wedge and uh, put it all together. All 
Alright, so let's go up to 2i. And draw a circle around 2i with radius 1. So notice I'm not going to include the edge here. So I'm going to draw a dotted line. Okay. All right, so let's look at our um, angles now. So in this case, alpha is uh, zero, so I can just go straight out here because remember I draw a, or I consider a horizontal line and I want to rotate. Okay, so the first condition says that I don't do any rotation. The second condition says I rotate around three pi and four radians. And because I have less than or equals to, I don't need to draw a dotted line here. Okay, so basically I want to show you that there's an angle of pi on four radians down here. Okay, so where's our region? Well, it'll be in here. So we haven't included this edge, we haven't included that edge, but we do include this edge here. Okay, so let's look at um, uh, the bigger picture. The first piece of information is that don't be daunted when trying to graph these complicated regions. It's slow at first, but you need to work through the problem systematically, and with some practice, you'll recognise the mathematical expressions for regions in the complex plane very quickly. Now, a good idea, if you have time, is after you come up with your region, test one or two points in the region to see if they possess the desired property. So, for example, I could choose the point, say, 2.5i, which just lies there, and then test these inequalities to see if they hold, just, just as a backup. Now, I'm going to leave you with a couple of examples that I want you to try. It's important when you watch this video, just don't watch the video and be passive and expect that, you, that you're going to understand everything. The, the important way to understand mathematics is to do mathematics. So have a go at these problems, sketch the regions in the complex plane associated with these conditions, and um, enjoy.